never a dull moment with Lynn. I don't care if she gets a layup, but I don't want her to get a three. All right, now let's go. Right, let's be smarter. Lynn Dunn taking that leadership voice from the huddle to the front office for her old team, the Indiana Fever. Well, 10 years after coaching the Indiana Fever to the WNBA championship, Lynn Dunn is back hoping to assemble another championship caliber team. Bill Benner has more in this week's Inside Indiana Sports Bill. Gary, thanks. And as the Fever embark on their 23rd WNBA season, including Sunday's Gamebridge Fieldhouse opener against the LA Sparks, they will do so with an unprecedented four first round draft choices selected by Dunn in her role as interim general manager. And we're pleased to be joined by Lynn. And Lynn, welcome back to, and welcome back to Indy. Well, thank you, Bill. It's great to be back. Well, and uh, I have to start out by asking you uh, what led you back to take on this role and how interim is the interim tag? Well, well, first of all, uh, surprise, surprise, surprise. Uh, I thought I'd retired, but um, I, I believe when Tamika decided unexpectedly to step down that uh, she wanted to go in a different direction with her career, um, maybe they were caught a little bit off guard. And so they probably just reached out to somebody that they thought <laughs> still had a great deal of love for the fever, which I do. And uh, when Rick Fuson called me and said, here's the situation, could you help us out? And I, and I just couldn't say no. Um, I've loved the fever. I invested many, many years here and um, loved working with Rick and, and Pacer Sports and Entertainment, Jim Morris, Kelly Crosstoff. So I said, okay, I'll help you out as long as you need me, but um, not sure how long that'll be. An interim could be another week. It could be another <laughs> year. It could be <laughs> two years until we could just get this, just get this franchise back on track. Well, and starting to get it back on track, you walked into a situation, as we mentioned, unprecedented four first round draft choices led by Nelissa Smith uh, with the number two draft choice overall. And you have to be tremendously uh, excited about being able to bring in this uh, rookie class. Well, you know, Bill, there's nothing fun about losing. Uh, the only reward you get is a high draft pick. <laughs> and so so with that high draft pick, number two in the draft, we were able to select Melissa Smith from Baylor, who a lot of people felt like could have gone one. So uh, either whether she went one or two, uh, you know, we were prepared for that situation. Uh, she is an exceptional player. She's going to have a huge impact on this franchise. Hopefully she'll be the face of the franchise in the future. But our ability to make some other trades and get, uh, you know, four first round draft picks and rebuild this, uh, this franchise with young players, I think is, is historic. Lynn, talk about uh, as the season begins at Cambridge Fieldhouse, but you will be moving on because of construction at the Fieldhouse to the Indiana Farmers Coliseum and then wrapping up at uh, Hinkle Fieldhouse. I mean, that's that's kind of the grand tour. Well, it's challenging, you know, and we understand that we're in the th third and final phase of the full renovation of Cambridge Fieldhouse, and it, it's absolutely gorgeous now but when they finish this last phase it's just going to be one of the best facilities you know not only in america but in the world and so we understand we'll be able to play some of our games here some at the coliseum um and then a few at historic uh, uh hinkle field house and then this next time this time next year we'll be home and we'll be settled uh and we'll be moving forward so we're not going to worry about things like that all we're going to focus on is how these rookies are going to get better you know, from beginning of practice to end of practice. Hey, Lynn, as we wrap up quickly, uh, the 10th anniversary of the WMA championship team will take place May 22nd at the Fieldhouse, and that has to be very exciting to bring that group back together for another salute. It's very exciting, and we're thrilled to find out that almost 99% of all the players, staff that participated in that championship season will be back for the game on May 22nd. We hope the fans will come back. Everyone will be here to really enjoy the 10th anniversary of our WNBA championship. Well, we look forward to seeing the Fever play under Hall of Famer, uh, Mary Ann Stanley. And Lynn, thanks for being on the program. We wish you nothing but the best going forward. Thank you, Bill. It's great to see you again. You're good seeing you.